Coach's Southern Football with Coach Paul Johnson. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rosier Ford, Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro. The dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital. The new vision for healthcare in Southeast Georgia. Hardee's Fast Food. Because at Hardee's, the food is a star. And Sea Island Bank. The better way to bank. Welcome to Georgia Southern Football 99. I'm Scott Pierce along with Eagles head coach Paul Johnson. The Eagles on the road. Big Southern Conference game up in Boone, North Carolina to take on the Mountaineers of Appalachian State. Coach, this has become a very heated rivalry between the two schools. Well, it has. Certainly, uh, Georgia Southern struggled through the years playing here in Boone. And, uh, you know, Appalachian always has a great football team. In the last couple years, it's come down to, uh, you know, really this game having a big influence on the conference championship. It's a little different environment for our team. You're up in the mountains, you're playing on AstroTurf. The team has to do a little adjustment there. Well, mentally maybe, but I mean, once the game starts, it's a football game, and it looks like we're gonna have a great day, and I think our kids are excited about playing Appalachian. I am, I mean, this is the one loss we've suffered uh, in the league since we've been there, and it's a chance to come up here for some redemption. Knowing that we're playing a, a really good football team that's gonna be fired up and ready to go today, but. That's what it's all about. If you can't look forward to these games, you ought to get out of it. Now, Georgia Southern obviously comes in here with a lot of momentum, coming off some huge wins so far this year. Appalachia comes in here with something to prove. They lost last week to Furman. Well, they're fighting for their life. I think another loss in the conference would probably put them out of the race. So we're going to get their best shot. We've talked about it all week. Uh, we know it's coming. It'll be interesting to see if our guys can uh, do likewise and give them our best shot. Now, what do we know about the Mountaineers? They come in here with sort of a balanced attack, uh, passing and rushing? Right, they play with two quarterbacks, uh, you know, Reeves and Jeremiah. One's more of an option guy than the other a thrower. And then defensively, which is kind of what's carried them this year, they return 18 to 22 players from a year ago. So experienced defense, real big and physical up front on the line. And they've always been that. They've always been tough, big players up here. Uh, the Mountain folks up here in Boone, should be a great game today. Stay tuned. We'll have a look at the first half highlights. But first, the Coca-Cola play of the day. Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football 99. The Eagles up in Boone, North Carolina for a huge Southern Conference game. Georgia Southern wins the toss. We elected it first, so we're going to give the ball to the Mountaineers. Coach, we kick off to the Mountaineers, and the defense comes up with a big play quickly. Right. Uh, got us a turnover down there close, and uh, it's a big play. I mean, to start the game was great field position and gave our offense an excellent opportunity to get some points on the board. The offense took over deep in Appalachian territory at the 31-yard line. We start to run the offense. Adrian gets two yards. Then we see what started to be a theme in the first half. Their defense comes up big against our run. Right. They made some uh, some good plays defensively, and they were physically getting after us pretty good up front. And uh, in the secondary, they were really run supporting hard. And uh, you know, they did a, did a good job. I think it was about third and eight, and we tried to run the option over there and got the ball pitched. and. Uh, you know, their safety will come up, made a nice play, and we had to try a field goal. We tried a field goal, and uh, from the booth, it looked pretty good. I guess it must have been just a little wide to the left. I think it was wide left from the side. It looked like it was wide left. With that missed field goal, Appalachian State is going to get the ball back. They're going to start over first and 10. They're going to run the ball back, and really, uh, they get a first down or so here, but our defense is really showing that we can play ball, too, here. Right. I thought we played extremely well in defense in the first half, especially, and uh, the... Uh, you know, they were trying to uh, to run the ball, control the clock, make it a shorter game, mm -hmm. you know, keep our offense off the field. And, uh, you know, it was really a defensive struggle there for, for pretty much the whole first half. Appalachia State, though, can't move it beyond one first down. They're forced to punt. Georgia Southern with the ball gets first and 10. And we start to see a, a little bit of movement here. But App still strong on defense, can't move it. Adrian Peterson, uh, the center, was clogged uh, early on. Well, they were taking him on the option. They were going to take in Greg Hill and make us pitch the ball. And when they do that, I mean, they're they're running uh, safeties man to man. They got the pitch, and, and 
there's always going to be one guy that's unblocked. I mean, the guy that had you man to man, and they were doing a nice job coming up, making the tackle. Then on a second down, and they play at midfield. We complete a pass, and then we have a fumble. Big turnover there. Right, we hit a play action pass over on the side, and uh, just didn't get the ball tucked away and turned it over. I think we were probably down in their territory when we did that again. We sure were. Appalachia State with the ball starts to move, and they're able to move it some, and we see them running the option some. Right, they were running some uh, belly G option, and they've done that all year. We knew they were. Fourth and one, a big play for Appalachia State to keep their drive alive deep in Georgia Southern Territory, but the defense comes up big with a stop. Right, we did, uh, made a great stop there, and uh, I think Michael Youngblood went in and made a solid hit on the quarterback when he tried to sneak the ball. Georgia Southern uh, couldn't move, could not move the ball with their next possession. They're forced to punt after a first down. Appalachia State gets the ball, and they can't move it either. It was really a war of attrition early on, both sides uh, keeping each other at bay. Well, it really was. It's a defensive game, and, uh, you know, both sides uh, were, maybe were, were giving up a first down or two, and then that was it, and uh, no big plays. And, in fact, uh, when Georgia Southern gets the ball back, we see App State come up with a big play. We had a fourth down we went for, and we couldn't convert either. Right, uh, fourth down, and we tried to... Uh, run the ball up in there and uh, yeah, they made a nice stand on defense. We didn't get a hat on everybody and they came up and made a big play. Was it, uh, today I really came in thought, thinking that uh, they had this two quarterback system going and that they were going to throw the ball a little, but we didn't see that. No, I think they, they had decided they were going to run the ball and try to make it a short game and make it a physical game and, uh, you know, try to control the clock and uh, they certainly accomplished that. Late in the second quarter, we're going to get the ball uh, first and down at uh, deep in their territory and we get uh, an interception we saw turnovers they really came up and bit us really hurt us bad it was uh, right before half and uh, we got ourselves in a third and long situation we're trying to run some vertical routes and uh and trying to throw it to Ann Williams there, and the, their safety just came right over the top of him and picked the ball off. Looked to me like he came through him to get the ball. Well, he may have, but we need to come back and catch the ball. We don't need to wait on it. Appalachia State, deep in our territory, is going to get a field goal out of it to go up three to nothing, but the defense really helped strong not letting him in the end zone. Well, he did. It was a big stand right there, and uh, not to let him in the end zone, and, and we held him to a field goal, and as far as we played offensively, to be down only three nothing at half, we felt like we were in pretty good shape. Georgia Southern definitely in the game with a whole half to play and we're going to get the ball back when we start the second half we're going to go to the locker room three to nothing appalachia state don't go away we'll be back with a look at the second half highlights right after this halftime special The master of all he surveys, well, at least if it's green. Roger Inman is the stadium supervisor for Georgia Southern, and he's the man responsible for making Allen E. Paulson Stadium one of the nicest playing environments in the country. From shrubberies to uh, little flowers to marigolds, uh, we have quite a few people in the community that help us with it to make this place the elite showpiece it is, as it was once coined by Coach Russell, the prettiest little stadium in Georgia. To say Roger has a green thumb, well, that'd be an understatement. You see, he does a lot more than just cut the grass. He and his crew have to keep all of the university's playing fields in tip-top shape. The three of us, or the four of us, maintain right at uh, 111 acres. We've got four and a half football fields to keep cut, lined, painted, and that's not counting uh, the confines of Allen E. Paulson Stadium and Glen Bright Field. And even after the last player leaves the field and the last fan leaves the stadium, Roger Inman's work is just beginning. But as soon as Coach Johnson finished, whether it be a scrimmage or a practice, uh, we'll be out on lawnmowers and cut the grass, get it ready. We'll put a heavy coat of ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulfate on it, and water it in real well and try to make it grow as fast as we can to get ready for the next contest. And all of this hard work definitely pays off. This field has stood the test of harsh weather environments, whether it be eight inches of rain from Hurricane Hugo or sub-freezing temperatures in the 1989 National Championship game. Glen Bryant Field is just as nice as any other field in the country. When you look at some of the pro fields, this field will stand right in with them. There's no debate about that. Uh, 
In 95, Paul Massey uh, rebuilt this field for us from scratch. Uh, this particular surface is only three years old, and it's, it's ready for many, many years to come of abuse and wear and tear. Well, grass is not an issue this weekend. Georgia Southern's playing on AstroTurf. We'll be back with a look at the second half highlights from Boone right after this. You know, it's a tough loss, but, you know, we have to move on and try to, you know, get ourselves into the playoffs. Well, you know, they, they had, I guess they had a good game plan. You know, they, they really caught, clogged up the middle. Yeah, it is. Um, their, their fans are great here, and they got behind them, and those guys did a good job of making big plays and pl making plays when it counted. No, I don't. We, we want to do our job. We, we've taken a lot of heat um, lately about defense, um, of course, last year, but we want to show everybody we could play. And we, kept, we, kept, we kept our offense in the game for a long time, and then they started to move the game, and it shows the character of our team because we almost put it out of the air. On the outside, they had some had the safeties flowing and really causing a lot of problems out there on the perimeter for us. Uh, I think they had the backside safety scraping across, you know, and he did a, a great job filling the hole. Welcome back to Georgia Southern football. The Eagles trailing three to nothing. Coming out of the locker room, Coach, what did you tell the troops at halftime? Well, it's, it's, we thought as poorly as we played offensively anyway. That uh, we were lucky to only be three down three to nothing, and we had the ball first start the second half, so we got a chance to come out. One score puts you right in front of the game. On that first possession, Georgia Southern comes out after the kickoff, starts moving the ball a little bit. We get a first down. Notice you started pitching a little bit to your uh, trailing uh, split end. Right. We started bringing the receiver in motion, something we've worked on this week, and trying to gain an extra blocker over there. We got to moving the ball a little bit, hit a couple of trap plays, and I think we got it out to about the 40-yard line. And then on second and three, we pitch it on the option. and drop it and they pick it up and run it in which is, was a huge huge play in the game unbelievable play to see the Appalachian player pick up the fumble take it in for the touchdown at that point with the extra point it's 10 to nothing Appalachia State the Mountaineers playing solidly on offense and defense but it looks like in the second half you start to see us moving the ball a little bit and you think that the momentum might be shifting a little bit well I thought we hit some plays in the second half we hit a couple big pass plays There's, you know, so many times in the game that we had some play action stuff open that we couldn't take advantage of. But uh, we had a couple plays and we'd move the ball. If we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot, uh, you know, we were, we were starting to move the ball better. And we see one of those times when we shoot ourselves in the foot. On our next possession, Georgia Southern drives the ball, puts together some first down. But we have a third and five from the 41-yard line, and we see a box play where you have one receiver or one back go one way and the other go the other way. Right, we were going to try to run the receiver across because they're bringing the corner with him and running a little speed option out the back and uh, the clock was running down and you know quarterback went the wrong way georgia southern forced the punt there app gets the ball back they're able to move the ball down the field and we saw their quarterback running a lot around the corner yeah well they were trying to, to sprint out they were in a well, kind of like an unbalanced set or an old single wing set and they're getting us leveraged over there and just using all the blockers and using him as an extra runner. And a crazy play down on the goal line. When they had a first and goal from the five, they're running it in. They fumble. Looks like we have a chance to get the ball, but the Mountaineers were covering the end zone for the touchdown. Right, well, that was just the kind of day it was. I mean, if there was anything could go wrong, it seemed like it did. 17 to nothing, Georgia Southern trailing at this point to the Mountaineers. 428 to go in the third. Georgia Southern gets the ball back. And this time, we start really raking up the yards in big clips. Adrian had a couple of big runs and then Greg's going to take it in for the touchdown. Right, Adrian had a great, a nice run on the little count. We finally got it to the right side. To the, uh, we're going across in motion with A back, and uh, we're running an option back out of the weak side of our heavy set, and Greg was able to run it in the end zone off the option. With the extra point, Georgia Southern now on the board, trailing 17-7, to and the defense makes a big stand for you, too, giving you the ball back quickly, shutting down Apple in four plays. Right, uh, which was a big momentum swing, and... Uh, you know, we kind of had some momentum going at that point, and, uh, you know, we got to come back and take advantage of that. We go into the fourth quarter with this drive right after the big defensive stand. We put together a couple of first downs, but then we're forced to punt. The Mountaineers get the ball back, but once again, the defense comes up strong, and they're forced to punt back to Georgia Southern. The Eagles get the ball back. You hit a long pass on your first play to Andre Weathers. Right, they were supporting hard out of the secondary, and we kind of drew it up on the bench over there just uh, 
some verticals, and uh, Greg put it out there, and Dre made the catch, and uh, it was a big play for us. After a few more runs, we're going to see Greg Hill taking himself 23 yards for the touchdown. Right, quarterback draw. We just had a penalty for not getting out of the huddle when we ran a play in, which is disappointing. And uh, we got some guys downfield, some nice blocks, and Greg did a good job getting in the end zone. With the extra point, Georgia Southern now trails just by three, 17 to 14, 7.57 to go in the game. But you start to think the Eagles have a little of the big mo on their side. Appalachian State gets the ball, unable to move it. Looks like they've made up their mind just to run the ball. And fourth down, they're punting from deep in their territory. We have a good block. Well, we had a little game. Coach Munkin had done a nice job watching on the table. We brought the corner in off the wide out. Brought him under the wing and, uh, you know, he blocked it. And the thing that was unfortunate is it went out the back of the end zone. Anywhere uh, anywhere it went would have been better than that probably. But, uh, you know, anytime you can block a punt, that's certainly a big play. And we had all the momentum. With the safety at that point, Georgia Southern now trails just by one point, 17 to 16, late in the fourth quarter. We get the ball back on the, the free kick and uh, move it a little bit, but then have to punt it. Right, and there was about three and a half minutes to go. We had all three timeouts left. and. We've been playing pretty good on defense. I felt like we'd punt them back, uh, you know, use our timeouts and get the ball back maybe with about two minutes to go needing a field goal to win the game. But, you know, to their credit, they were able to knock out a first down and make us use up all our timeouts. And when we finally got them stopped on uh, fourth down with about a minute left, uh, we jump off sides on special teams and, uh, you know, they mark it off and, and they're able to run the clock down to virtually, you know, nil. Georgia Southern does get the ball back with no time hardly left on the clock, unable to move the ball. And that's the way it's going to end up here in Appalachia State, Georgia Southern on the losing end, 17 to 16. Don't go away. We'll be back with final thoughts right after this. Welcome back to Georgia Southern football. The Eagles losing on the day in the Southern Conference. First Southern Conference lost in a long time for the Eagles, but you got to move on from here. Well, you do. I mean, you can't dwell on it. Uh, go back, look at the tape, uh, correct the mistakes, and Lord knows there's plenty of them, and uh, get ready to play the Citadel next week. It's, I told our guys after the game, you do one or two things. You either go back and you work to get better, and you fight or you fold a tent, and I don't think this bunch will fold a tent, and uh, I know we're not going to let them. Looking back at this game, what do you take away? What do you see? Is uh, any, any positives come out of this? Well, our, our, once again, I, I just feel like our special teams really are killing us. I mean, they caught up with us today. We had to, you know, other than the opening possession, you had a long field the whole day, and uh, the turnovers. I mean, it, it, probably here today, if we don't turn the ball over as poorly as we play, we win the game. Anything uh, that you're looking at in the Citadel coming in, what do they bring in to Paulson Stadium next week? Well, I know that, uh, you know, last year we staged a miraculous comeback on them in the second half, and, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be a young team. They lost some guys. They lost their quarterback. But, uh, you know, Coach Powers does a great job. They'll be well coached. They'll come in there and play hard, and we've got to do a better job taking care of the ball and execute. And then you saw, a lot, you know, two years ago when we lost up here, it wasn't the end of the season. Georgia Southern keeps moving and making it into the playoffs. This just makes your road a little bit harder. Right. Well, no, it's by no stretches at the end of the year. And, you know, uh, if we can continue to play one game at a time and win the rest of the game, certainly we'll get in the playoffs. And we tried it the other way last year. Maybe this is the way to do it. Uh, you know, both years that, uh, that I was at Southern in 85 and 86 when we won, we went into the playoffs 92. Maybe that's the magic number. <laughs> Should be a great game next week in Paulson Stadium. Homecoming, Georgia Southern takes on the Citadel. Thanks for joining us from Appalachia State. We'll see you next week after the game. Georgia Southern football with Coach Paul Johnson. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rosier Ford, Lincoln Mercury, and State.